Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this, wanted to know how they could use it. But it's it's pretty pixelized, and uh, you could maybe trace it. But it'd be a lot easier just to start over, because you could make it your own, unless it has to be the exact one. So I just made a checkerboard, and the way I would make a checkerboard would be to draw the two objects. One object is a quarter inch, quarter inch. So we've got a half inch. And then go up to Windows, Dockers, Step and Repeat. And we're going to go vertical first. So we put no offset on horizontal. An offset of 0.25. And it actually went up, but it doesn't matter. You can have it go up or down. Now, I would just grab both these and mirror them. You're just grabbing both your... And there's several ways you can do this, but this is probably just as quick as any of them. And then grab all of it. And now go no offset, offset. And we need to go a half inch because we're, we've got two quarters there. And there you have it. And then I would left click, whoop. I would put no, uh, hairline and then put a black and maybe make it a little bit thicker just a hair thicker i would scale it with object and there you have it now we need to group it together so control g and and then you can make your waving flag pretty much any way you wanted it let's just use this previous one it's all grouped together and then go to the envelope tool and this is where you're going to find out if you have any artistic ability at all. I'm going to grab those six nodes, or those, yeah, those five nodes, and just kind of bring it down a little bit. Just click off of it. Take those three and maybe bring them up. And then you could click on individual ones. And I would do this systematically. Let's put our nudge factor on 0.05. Let's grab our envelope tool again. Grab that handle and nudge it down. One, two. That way, this one and that one are going to be the same. One, one, two. I think I actually probably went three. So you could do quite a bit with this and then just make them the same. This flag is pretty cool. He's got it. You could add a node right here by double clicking with your shape tool. Go back to your envelope tool. And now we could do anything we want to this top. Of course, you'd want to do the same to the bottom. So put a node about the same spot and just kind of curve it up. And I'm not going to, well, it'd be so easy to draw this flagpole. And we're maybe a little bit long, so you could kind of squish it up maybe. Just grab that, kind of squish it up. It actually looks like it's bending. And then for a flagpole, I would just take a rectangle. I'm using somebody else's program, and it's got a gray hairline or a gray foul feel. And then maybe just uh, put a ball on top of it. That is uh, 0.29 inches wide. So we're going to make our ball 0.29 inches wide. Fill it with black. Take away the outline. And then with your pick tool, it'll get right to the center. That's how I would do it. There's probably several ways. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.